The heart of the Christian gospel is an invitation and a welcome. Christians are marked out as followers of Christ in culture because they know about hospitality. And caring for Christian brothers and sisters is at the heart of what it means to be a Christian. And we've got this one in the bag, especially as Canadians, and even more especially as Atlantic Canadians. Canadians, the jovial, optimistic, hockey-loving peaceniks. Atlantic Canadians, the come on inners, stay all nighters, kitchen partiers of the Hospitality Hall of Fame. No one can outwelcome us. Are we really hospitable? Seems not everybody is as convinced as we are. Maybe we've told our myth, this myth so much to ourselves that we've come to believe it. If people don't respond to our gospel invitation, it's their problem, not ours. From the Canadian Truth and Reconciliation Commission report to the Ivany report, we're told another narrative that tells us that as Canadians, Atlantic Canadians, Christians, and even, dare we say it, Baptists, we're not as welcoming as we think we are. And in fact, we've whitewashed our history to convince ourselves that the myth was true when it was really far from the truth. Join us for the second Simpson Lecture as I tackle the myth of hospitality. Already there are refugees who have arrived and will be arriving under church sponsorship programs. How can we offer them a great biblical welcome until we've confronted our collective responsibility for culture-destroying colonialism? Let's tackle this myth and recognize that in our history, we are Babylon. What are we gonna do about it?